Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody, and happy Earth Day. It's been a very cloudy stretch here at home the past 10 days. In fact, the last time or the only time in the last 10 days that we saw cloud cover, our average cloud cover under 50% was back on the 13th. But today, following a little cloud cover early on, we're going to get plenty of sunshine as high pressure does settle to our southwest. Taking a live look this morning over downtown Rockford, you can see most of the cloud cover from this morning moving on out. Still got a few clouds uh, in this frame here, but we're starting to see that sunshine come out. Still, as a reminder, we do have a freeze warning that's currently in effect up until 9 o'clock this morning, and that's because temperatures did drop down below the freezing mark this morning and still got a spot or two. That is below uh, the freezing mark still at, looking at Janesville 28 degrees 34 here in Rockford 35 in Freeport and 30 degrees out west in Galena. Now it may appear that we have a couple of flurries on satellite and radar this morning, but thankfully the air is too dry near the surface dew points in the teens and low 20s. So none of that is making it towards the ground. It's evaporating uh, before reaching the surface, but we had cloud cover this morning giving way to sunshine as we carried on towards mid morning and that's all thanks to this area of of high pressure that is currently to our south and southwest. This is going to allow dry air to filter in as we head towards mid to late morning, and that's going to allow for a sun filled afternoon for Earth Day. So what I'm basically saying is that there's going to be plenty of opportunities to get outside today. Temperatures soar into the upper 50s. We're actually going to end up a good 10 degrees warmer uh, this afternoon with a high of 59, and then we're going to stay relatively quiet ahead of Friday's rain chances. So let's take a look at that using Futurecast. The cloud cover from this morning moving on out by this afternoon. We'll have plenty of sunshine, may get a little breezy. Winds could top out around 25 miles per hour at times, but that wind quickly dying down as we head towards the evening commute. Now we'll start off with mostly clear skies tonight, then see clouds on the increase towards tomorrow morning as the system tracks to our west and southwest. That's going to increase the moisture in the atmosphere, resulting in shower chances by tomorrow afternoon. We'll stay dry under mostly cloudy skies for the first half of our Friday, but you can see shower chances quickly increasing as we head into tomorrow afternoon and then also into tomorrow evening. Now tomorrow showers will give way to a generally dry weekend. We keep shower chances on the very low end for the upcoming weekend. We get into early next week. Not only are we going to see some late spring warmth as temperatures get back into the 70s, but we're also going to see our best rain chances for the foreseeable future, especially going into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We're going to stay generally dry with a slight chance for a shower or two on Monday, but once we get into the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, plenty of moisture with the low pressure system does move in and there'll be the opportunity for a couple of thunderstorms as we head into Tuesday night and especially going into Wednesday, but we're going to hold on to the 70s as we head into the middle of next week. So today's forecast 59 degrees. Happy Earth Day, everybody. We'll have patchy morning frost giving way to plenty of sunshine tonight, starting off with mostly clear skies and then we'll see increasing clouds late, especially getting into tomorrow morning. That's going to lead to a mostly cloudy start to our Friday temperatures. We're going to be in the mid 50s tomorrow, getting close to 60 over the weekend. We'll see 70s return as we head into early next week. Back to you.